Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Predictions. First off, I've got to make an apology from last week's predictions. I did miss one game out which was the Blackpool Lincoln game, which after it went up, someone told me it's on a Friday night. I do apologise for missing that game out and it finished 2-1 to Blackpool um, and they're first on my list. But anyway guys, that's my apologies on. Um, guys, but anyway, you know what I do, so you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Bolton versus Blackpool. As I've just said, Blackpool's my first game up, beating Lincoln 2-1. Bolton losing 1-0 away to Portsmouth. I thought Bolton were very unlucky not to get the point at that game. I thought, when I was watching it, you know, as time got on with that game, I was like, oh, Bolton might walk away with a point. Um, turned out not to be, um, but I do think Bolton are very close to make another turn um, back to full strength. But obviously, it's going to take a bit of time for the players to get used to each other. I know Liam Brickhoe and Will Buckley used to play together at Brighton. Um, so there's one partnership that, you know, probably has got a bit of strength already. Um, Blackpool, on the other hand, probably a bit more expected to beat Lincoln ever since losing their manager. Uh, I think this was Lincoln's third defeat on the bounce. Hopefully, League will start picking up again soon. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3 1 Blackpool win. My next one is African Stanley versus Oxford United. Oxford beating Gillingham 3 0 at home. African Stanley beating Southend 1-0 uh, away from home. Great three points for both teams. Um, that Accrington result could possibly be more um, worth, for, like, worth the three points more for the Accrington game because of the, um, you know, where they are in the table. Oxford, great three points against Gillingham. Uh, you know, Gillingham are, you know, are still in, in that mid-bracket sort of team. Um, but this is so close this season um, between all clubs. I reckon any, what is it, two that goes down this year because of Berry dropping out. As I said, the uh, Football League is very confusing this year because of that Berry dropping out. And yet again, Berry not allowed back into the Football League. So... You know, this season, we're going to look at the end of May and we are going to say, well, hold on a minute, what's going on there? But, you know, that's up to the AFL. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Oxford win. My next one is AFC Wimbledon versus Rochdale. Rochdale loses 3-0 at home to Wickham. Wimbledon losing away from home three two to Peterborough. Um, so both teams are going into this game with no points over the previous weekend. Um, the only confidence that I could possibly have on the Win uh, Wimbledon point of view is that they are at home. Um, Watch out, fail to beat Wickham at home. Uh, that could have been. You know, quite a downer for you, you Rochdale fans. Do feel free to comment down below. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Doncaster versus Portsmouth. Um, Portsmouth beating Bolton one 0 at home. I've already mentioned Doncaster one all away to Coventry, obviously St Andrews Stadium, um, ever since they lose the week arena. Um, Doncaster, this, I mean Coventry have really started to get settled in into St Andrews, I do watch the highlights when I can. Um, to be fair to Coventry, I think they've done pretty well to settle in with, like, how I have. Um, Portsmouth on the other hand, 1-0 um, home win against Bolton. Probably expect a little bit more for your Portsmouth. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 3-1 Doncaster win. 
My next one is Fleetwood Town versus Itchridge. Itchridge beating Tramia at home 4 1. Fleetwood beating Shrewsbury away from home 3 0. Yet again, Itchridge is very dom uh, dominant at this present time. I still reckon they will come back up to the championship. Um, you know, you've got. As I said, I think it's so not right that it should be in League One. No disrespect to teams in League One whatsoever. I just think when it just went down, I was like, yeah, that was against the odds. Um, I think none of us had it which go down to League One. But I do look promising to come back up to the Championship. Um, Fleetwood, on the other hand, 3-0 away win to Shrewsbury. Probably expecting nothing less. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Gillingham versus Southend. Southend losing 1-0 at home to Africa and Stanley. And Gillingham losing 3-0 three, uh, three away from home to Oxford. Nothing to talk about really on both teams. Both drop points, both going into the same sort of circumstances that they did at the, like the Wimbledon game this weekend. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 1-0 Gillingham win. My next one is Lincoln versus Sunderland. Lincoln losing that away from home 2-1 to Blackpool. Sunderland beating Milton Kings at home 2-1. Great three points for Sunderland. You know, I think, as I said, I think this is Lincoln's third defeat on the bounce. Um, possibly going into this game, try not to make it four. But I reckon that Sunderland will make it four. And I've gone for a 2-1 Sunderland win. My next one is MK Dons versus Burton Albion. Um, MK Dons losing 2-0. Uh, sorry, 2-1 at Sunderland. Um, and I don't think Burton Albion played because they're supposed to play Berry. So, you know, just a one result, dressed up on it already. So I'm just going to give you the scoreline for this one. And I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Rotherham versus Coventry. Rotherham losing 1 0 at home to Bristol Rovers. Bit of a disappointing day there. Coventry 1 0 at home to Doncaster. Now, we'll mention Bristol Rovers because they have not got a game this week. Um, and my guess is they're supposed to be playing Berry, but, um, you know, good three points for Bristol, uh, Bristol Rovers. Um, sorry, I'm, I know what I nearly did. Uh, sorry, Bristol Rovers fans. Um, but, you know, can't be worth them. Yet again, they're, post they're promotion candidates, maybe even through the playoffs. So, as far as this game goes, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Tramia versus Shrewsbury. Tramia losing 4 1 away from home to Itchwich Town. Shrewsbury losing 3 0 at home to Fleetwood. Um, yeah, again, no real big surprises. Um, so, yeah, again, I'm just going to give you the scoreline for this one. And I've gone for a 2 0 Shrewsbury Town win. My last one for this weekend is Peaceborough versus Wickham. Uh, sorry, Wickham Wonders versus Peaceborough, I should do. Um, yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously Wickham the home team. Um, Peaceborough. Winning 3 2 at home against AFC Wimbledon. Wickham losing, f winning, sorry, winning 3 3 0 away from home to Rochdale. Great um, 3 points for Wickham. Obviously, Peter, oh no, sorry, Peter Brown won 3 2 at home to AFC Wimbledon. My apologies. Um, 
basically both teams going in with the three points from the previous weekend. Um, but as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-1 Wickham win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.